I was minding my own business, and Sean popped into the car. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. What's up, buddy? Not much. Yeah. Uh, we are driving the 2019 Chevy Blazer. Actually, we aren't. He is. Yeah. Uh, for a very good reason. But uh, first off, we are. It's about 7:30 in the morning. Yep. And we're driving out to Walt Disney Studios for a private screening for Avengers Endgame. Did you bone up on uh, Infinity War? I didn't get a chance to rewatch it, but I watched it pretty recently. So. I've heard that people are crying in this movie. Wow. Like five times. Wow. Yeah. Crying in uh, Avengers. Man. Yeah, crying in a Marvel Avengers movie. <laughs> I'm not sure if you need to get a life or something, but uh, it could be that good. Yeah, it good. could be that good. Yeah. You never know. Yeah. So we have about a uh, 45-minute drive out to Hollywood, out to Walt Disney Studios, and uh, we'll kind of do that. But we're also preparing to do a Facebook Live. Sean's my guest on today's Facebook Live, which you guys have probably already seen because this doesn't air for another couple of days. But uh, I'm looking forward to this movie. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And uh, as I mentioned, we are driving the 2019 Chevy Blazer. Uh, first impression. Yeah, I just did that turn off thing on me. It was uh, it, freaky. <laughs> the car turns off all by itself when you're at a stop sign. Yeah, I'm not used to that, but yeah. I hear it when I'm walking. Right. Other it's it's kind of like, what's wrong with the car? Yeah, exactly. What's wrong? Yeah. Uh, it's really smooth and accelerates fast. Yeah, it's pretty yeah. quick. Yeah. Uh, I noticed that this is a car I would take to the track. Uh, it's kind of like an, a Camaro SUV. Yeah, yeah totally. Yeah. So you'd want to drop the car by a couple inches and then put a Camaro motor in there. There you go. You know, then you'd have some serious badassery, I think, that you would enjoy. Uh, but uh, if you didn't know, Sean is a sculptor in the movie industry. He's worked on a lot of Marvel movies, Black Panther, right? Mm -hmm. And, you know, when they when they make a Marvel movie, they're not, they don't really want to blow buildings up for some reason. I guess it's too expensive. Exactly. So Sean sculpts the the rubble sometimes, and a lot of the sets. Yep. Yeah. The waterfall. Waterfalls. Um, for for Black Panther. Yeah. Yeah. And that's a cool experience. You were in Atlanta for that. Yep. Yeah. Flew us out to Atlanta. Mm -hmm. was in Atlanta for like nine months. Right. But you didn't work on uh, Endgame, which is what we're seeing right now. No. But no people that did. Okay. Do you know any spoilers? No. <laughs> Definitely not. Yeah, well, I didn't think so. We, we do we do have a theory, though, which is a Marvel Star Wars crossover where uh, Captain America is actually Boba Fett. Right. Right? And I'm pretty sure uh, that that's, that's a spoiler. You're hearing it here first. And I think that there is a Star Wars Marvel crossover movie in the works, and it's called... Uh, uh, Captain Death Star. I don't know. Just making this crap up as we go. at Disney, yeah. breakfast in hand. Mickey didn't get us. Yeah, we're we not getting let us in. A Mickey ticket. <laughs> Restroom. It is now open. Okay. Holy crap! Wow! Moments away. 
away from seeing Avengers Endgame. What are you looking forward to the most? Star Wars. Is the movie being over? <laughs> no, I, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. Yeah. I think it's going to be good. Hopefully. Uh, and we'll find out in about six hours because the movie's like really long. <laughs> exactly. Avengers Endgame. Awesome. Yeah, it was pretty epic. Definitely, yeah. It was a long movie, but I, I didn't feel um, that it was too long. No, I didn't get bored. Mm -hmm. What was your favorite part? Don't say it! It was really good. Really, very well done. A few surprises. Mm -hmm. um, we'll talk about it more. <laughs> about a costume update. Let's go see what Kathy's up to. What's up? No. What are you making? The sun. What's up, Sean? This young lady. She's not there anymore. Uh, she is building a sun costume, actually three sun costumes for Southern California Gas. They're gonna be really cute. Uh, probably the biggest project she's ever done and she's building the sun. And that's just not a small item. And while she does that, I have to heat up some taquitos. There are a lot of ways that you can screw up a movie. A lot of ways you can screw up the movie. Um, and you see Hollywood go through things like that where they have a, an incredible script written by 15 people because it's getting script doctor after script doctor. Uh, it's getting rewritten here and there. Um, let, let's just say that they end up with a really great script. And then they hire someone who seems like a competent director to captain the ship and and then they screw it up, or they don't screw it up, but the editor comes in and, and chops it all up and makes it a mess, or the editor is really fantastic, and it ends up, the music comes in, and they hire some schlocky music guy or girl that, that ends up not knowing anything about music, or the music is fantastic, like it's John Williams music. So the point is, there are so many ways to screw up a movie that there's a high probability that movies get screwed up. That's just kind of the way they are. Uh, but every now and then, a movie gets made where there are no scripts, where the directing is fantastic, where the acting is fantastic. I didn't even speak about the actors. This movie, Avengers Endgame, hits it on all marks. And, and, and as you know now, the movie is out. It has just hit, uh, I believe, uh, the world's highest opening day at 140 million dollars. Star Wars, the last one, Force Awakens, was the champion at 115. This is 140. Uh, it stands to reason that by the end of this weekend, it will be a billion dollar weekend for Disney. Not that they need more money. They don't, but they do create some great stuff. I mean, you gotta hand it to them. Uh, you know, I work for Disney and, and it, although uh, 80% of it was a positive experience. There's a lot of, of weird stuff that goes on there. But uh, they do know how to make movies. They do know how to make uh, rides and shows at Disneyland and uh, quite extraordinary stuff. I think that's my agent texting me that I'm gonna be in the next Marvel movie. Pretty sure. I think some type of fiery flame thing might work. 
you know? But since the inception of Marvel Studios and all the way back to Iron Man, the very first one, they've hit it out of the park pretty consistently. And there hasn't been very many that have really been, certainly none have been bad. Uh, some have just been better than others. But this this movie, Endgame, is the assemblage of, of kind of all those movies coming together in a very unique way. Infinity War came out just before this, and that kind of set up what happens in Endgame. No spoilers. I'm not going to tell you anything. I really enjoyed it. It was really fantastic. It's worth, if, if you're paying 20 bucks for a ticket, it's worth it, man. Lots of great music, lots of fun characters, lots of really cool stuff. And that's, that's what they've carried over into their films. They have two really phenomenal franchises. Marvel and Star Wars, and they keep churning out uh, really good films. So uh, I'm excited, personally. I've been, been a big fan of Star Wars since its inception, 1977. I got a bunch of Star Wars number one comics. A bunch. And no, you can't have one. But it was fun. You guys are going to love it. So uh, uh, go see the movie. Or you can just you can just write them a check. Just send Disney a check. The post office knows where it's supposed to go. So just pop it in the mail. You can send them a check if you can't make it to the movies. Or just go to the movie. That's all I got for you today, guys. Thanks for watching. Be sure to share. Hang out with us on Instagram, Facebook Live. Our show uh, during the week, 8 a.m. is Art Talk every single weekday morning, Pacific Standard Time. And Monday is Art Talk. What's the hardest thing that a human being has to do? Think about it. Join us on our talk, 8 a.m. on Monday morning. We'll see you guys there.